U.S. President Donald Trump receives a briefing at the Federal Emergency Management Administration FEMA on Hurricane Dorian in Washington, D.C. on September 1, 2019. Nicholas Cam, AFP, Getty Images The National Weather Service in a tweet Sunday said that Hurricane Dorian is not expected to hit the state of Alabama, directly contradicting a false claim from U.S. President Donald Trump. Earlier President Trump tweeted that, in addition to Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama, will most likely be hit much harder than anticipated. The hurricane is expected to make landfall on the eastern seaboard of the U.S. on Monday, with Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina having declared a state of emergency. Visit Business Insider's homepage for more stories. The National Weather Service NWS in a tweet Sunday rebutted U.S. President Donald Trump's claim that Hurricane Dorian will impact the state of Alabama. Alabama will not see any impacts from Dorian. We repeat, no impacts from Hurricane Dorian will be felt across Alabama. The system will remain too far east, the NWS's office in Birmingham, Alabama, tweeted Sunday morning, Alabama will not see any impacts from, we repeat, no impacts from hurricane. Out of around 6.30 a.m. E.T. Monday, the message remains on the president's Twitter feed, in addition to Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama, will most likely be hit much harder than anticipated. Looking like one of the largest hurricanes ever. Already Category 5. Be careful. God bless everyone. Donald J. Trump, at real Donald Trump, September 1, 2019 in remarks to reporters outside the White House on Sunday, he had repeated the assertion. We don't know where it's going to hit but we have an idea. Probably a little bit different than the original course. The original course was dead into Florida, now it seems to be going up to towards South Carolina, toward North Carolina. Georgia is going to be hit. Alabama is going to get a piece of it, it looks like. But it can change its course again and it could go back more toward Florida, despite the correction. He also said Alabama could be impacted in a briefing at the Federal Emergency Management Agency headquarters later on Sunday. And Alabama could even be in for at least some very strong winds and something more than that, it could be. This just came up, unfortunately, said Trump. It's the size of the storm that we're talking about. So, for Alabama, just please be careful also. On Monday morning, the White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the president's claims that the storm will impact Alabama, the expected path of Hurricane Dorian, as of 5 o'clock a.m. E.T. Monday. Google Crisis Map Hurricane Dorian slammed into the Bahamas on Sunday and Monday, with winds recorded in excess of 175 miles per hour, 282 km per hour winds, and storm surge waters rising as high as 23 feet 7 meters above the usual levels. According to the National Hurricane Center, the hurricane will move dangerously close to the Florida east coast tonight through Wednesday evening. The states of Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina have all declared states of emergency, and more than one million people have been ordered to evacuate coastal areas in the three southernmost of those states. Late Sunday, Trump retweeted a message from the National Hurricane Center, warning of life-threatening storm surge and hurricane force winds are expected along portions of the Florida east coast through midweek. Let's block ads. Why?